I don't know if it's a bunch of underperforming films like Furiosa, or if it's the fact that streaming right now is really, really hurting cinema, or both. But does Bad Boys Ride or Die have the cojones to finally kick off the summer season? Let's get real. If you like this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up to support this channel. Thank you. Lieutenants Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett are forced to go on the run after their recently deceased friend and boss, Captain Howard, Joe Pantaleone, is framed for embezzling money or something. But was he dirty? And if not, can the now fugitives clear their former chief's name and bring the actual culprits to justice? Bad boy style. Next year will amazingly be the 30th anniversary of the original Bad Boys movie. This is the fourth and I'll give you my order of the Bad Boys series later on in the show, so stay tuned for that. So this is the second one after bringing it back under the creative direction of directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, who also made that show Batgirl flick. Bad Boys for Life, I think we can all agree, had a heavy slice of Fast and Furious injected into it in what they probably felt like they needed to do to update a now quite antiquated aesthetic. I liked it, but you could kind of feel the mechanics of it grinding away quite often. As in, it felt a little forced and inorganic at times. Nonetheless, they succeeded in dragging the series forward and firmly establishing it into the now. I was kind of expecting more of the same with this new one. And if I'd gotten that, I would not have been mad, if I'm being honest. What I got instead was a sharper, funnier, and more heartfelt film in practically every single way. And that truly surprised me. I've got to say, you really see Martin Lawrence's talent in this one. I don't know if it's because he's been on screen infrequently these days, but kind of like another Martin, Martin Short, Martin Lawrence is a truly gifted comedic actor who really elevates this movie and pushes it over the line. Practically everything that is funny about this movie involves Martin Lawrence is what I'm saying. His expressions elevated to now legendary status. The story is a simple one, but compelling enough to want to go on the journey. The compelling part comes from the fact that they found the right fuel to tell this particular story, which, you know, is decent storytelling. This is definitely getting into Fast and Furious territory in as much as they seem to be adding more and more characters with every passing movie in the last two. And said characters seem to sort of change allegiances going from what seems to be bad to good. So you've got Will Smith's son again, Jacob Scipio, playing a bigger part in this one. You've got Captain Howard's daughters, not that I knew he had any, as well as Vanessa Hudgens and the white cop guy, Alexander Ludwig, from the previous film. So it seems like they're building their own version of La Familia in exactly the same way. And yet, so far, it all hangs together very, very well. There's also a bit of John Wick thrown in there with the On The Lamb storyline. Lone Gruffled and Eric Dane are also good in their supporting roles and do just enough to be interesting, playing their positions pretty perfectly. Stylistically, this is a big, splashy studio picture and, as you'd expect from a Bruckheimer Simpson production, it all looks insta-lush, lavish and like a million English pounds. At least. And I've got to commend the directors for really keeping things fresh and building off their first outing, Bad Boys for Life. The sequences are really eye-catching and truly pop. Standout sequences feature a trippy, near-death dream sequence featuring Lawrence that's executed to perfection. Another hilarious sequence featuring Lawrence once more, as well as what look like Smarties or M&Ms. As well as a really fun end sequence that pulls out all the stops creatively, whilst retaining enough heart and feels it. Playing it fast and loose, and allowing those bad boys in Smith and Lawrence to really highlight their talents, their chemistry, and do their thing. And when the bad boys are having fun, best believe that we, the audience, are having fun right alongside them. Which brings us to the bad boys themselves. All said and done, these guys are the fuel that run the entirety of this show. I don't know why chemistry on screen works. Think Butch and Sundance, Wesley and Woody, and Tom Hanks, and Wilson. Wait, what? 
but there's just this magical alchemy that occasionally happens that the audience fall in love with. And Bad Boys Ride or Die is a prime example of this. As mentioned, Martin Lawrence goes interstellar on this one, folks. You could almost see it for his bits alone. Almost. The summer starts here with this raucous, heartfelt crowd pleaser. Ride or Die gives you the cinematic experience you forgot you needed when done right. Big, cinematic, laugh out loud, visceral escapism. So, what are you waiting for? Get out and go and see it, folks. And in the cinema. You can thank me later. Yeah, so, you know, look, there's no doubt that when you look at Martin Lawrence and, and Will Smith in the first film in 1995, I think it was made, and there's no doubt that these, these guys have mileage on them now. It's crazy, really, you know, this sort of gap between the first and the current. But they still have it. That's, that's all you can say. They still have it. They still are movie stars. Will Smith is still that big presence big stature, he's a big guy. And if anything, they're funnier now because they're more lived in. They're not as sort of squeaky perfect. And so their flaws, along with their swag, just work so well. And Martin Lawrence in particular, I mean, he's, he is a real talent. And if you didn't see it then, I, I, I genuinely think that you'll watch this and go, wow. You know, it was a little bit like rediscovering Martin Short in um, Only Murders in the Building. Don Simpson, if, if, if you know him, Google him, you'll see he was, uh, he was one of the original producers of films like Beverly Hills Cop and Top Gun. You know, those big, sexy, aesthetically pleasing popcorn crowd pleasers of the 80s and 90s. And, you know, he passed away, I think, some, somewhere in the, I think it was the late 80s, the early 90s. I just want to sort of point out when the film opens, you still see a Don Simpson Jerry Bruckheimer production and that's just very it's kind of very moving and and you know give a shout out to Bruckheimer you know he, do, he doesn't have to do that he's been doing this alone for many 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 years but the fact that he is still staying true to that speaks volumes of I guess his character and I just wanted to give a shout out to that and finally my order I haven't seen one and two in a while but so I, it's all going off of feeling feels and memory but I would go one, this fourth one, three, and then two. That being said, I can't remember two. I remember not liking the end sequence, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't good because, you know, it was a very, very long time ago. And sometimes when you revisit films, you realize that you're the jackass and you were wrong all along. Leave your comments below. Tell me if you think I'm an idiot. I definitely think, and the point being, that this one is up there. I think this may be the best one. And if it's not the best one, it's the second best one. I'm being generous to the original because the original sets the template and is the first lightning in a bottle moment. Till next time, keep it real. Don't forget to share your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe. Very important, we're getting there, but we can get there more so if you like the channel and like what I'm doing. Uh, I appreciate it all, folks. Uh, let's keep going. I'll keep reviewing and you keep watching and commenting. Till next time, keep it real. Boom. So as many of you know, I'm also a filmmaker. Consider watching my stuff and sharing your thoughts. The episodes can be found here and probably here. We've made a little web series. Do check it out, share your thoughts and donate if you can. There's lots of giveaways and the link can be found below in the description.